If you have cellulite, you need to do this right now. I'm gonna give you five ways to get rid of that cellulite once and for all. Let's do this. Hey Keto Camper, Ben Azadi here, best-selling author of four books and the founder of Keto Camp. Here at Keto Camp, we're on a mission to educate and to inspire one billion people on planet Earth. We're gonna dive deep into cellulite, the root cause of it, and five simple ways to overcome your cellulite once and for all. We're gonna be getting into the role of fasting and autophagy to get rid of that cellulite, estrogen and adiponectin. What do those hormones have to do with cellulite. We're also gonna discuss coffee. Does it help or hurt your cellulite? Be prepared to be mind blown by that tip at the end of this video. Let's dive right in. The first step is to get rid of vegetable oils, AKA industrial seed oils. We know when you consume vegetable oils, you're going to increase inflammation, increase gelatinous B, water binding, and cellulite is going to also become increased. The more inflammation you have, the more macrophages, and lymphocytes you have which could lead to cellulite. So what we want to do is do an audit in your kitchen and make sure to avoid the following oils. Canola, corn, soybean, grapeseed, rice bran, peanut, and safflower. Let me tell you what these do to you. They are going to create inflammation around your cells and receptor sites. And this inflammation could stick around for months. Some studies show four and a half months of inflammation around your cells from one plate of food cooked in these vegetable oils. Inflammation, cellulite. I want you to re really understand that. That's gonna be the theme of this video. High inflammation, high cellulite. Reduce inflammation, reduce and get rid of the cellulite. I interviewed a couple of amazing resources in this field of nutrition science. Dr. Kate Shanahan was one of them. She used to be the nutritionist for the Los Angeles Lakers back when Kobe Bryant was there. I brought her on the Keto Camp podcast and Brian Peskin, MIT researcher. They both have shown that these vegetable oils are worse than smoking cigarettes, worse than consuming sugar, because at least your body could burn off that excess sugar. You can't burn off these vegetable oils. They gunk up your cells, leading to chronic inflammation and chronic cellulite. So I already gave you a list of the ones to do an audit and avoid and remove. Let's talk about the healthy fats that actually could reduce inflammation and help with your cellulite. These are going to include olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, hemp seed oil, macadamia nut oil. So the first step for you in this video, eat these oils, don't eat these oils, and watch your body start reducing that cellulite in less than a couple of days. Number two is probably gonna be my favorite method and that's going to be fasting strategies. There was a study that showed caloric restrictions decreased age-dependent accumulation of the glyco-oxidation products in rat skin collagen. Studies also have shown significant decrease of glycation of hemoglobin, plasma proteins also changed from caloric restriction. But here's the thing, we don't wanna cut calories and eat these small portion control meals throughout the day, but if you do it with fasting, you'll get the benefit of what's called counter-regulatory hormones, so you don't slow down the metabolism and you get to improve your skin collagen production. The biggest benefit of using fasting to get rid of your cellulite is going to be autophagy. And if you're not familiar with autophagy, get prepared to have your mind blown right now. Autophagy, the Greek definition of autophagy means eat thyself. That's your body's way of actually getting rid of damaged proteins, collagen cells, mitochondria, and I want you to consider autophagy with this analogy. Picture your refrigerator that you have inside of your kitchen. Open up that refrigerator and what do you see? You see groceries that all have an expiration date on them. What would happen if you let every single grocery inside of your refrigerator expire, but instead of throwing them into the trash can, you just shove them towards the back of the fridge, put them in the drawers, and buy fresh groceries and close that door. It's going to be a toxic environment. Disease will manifest, inflammation will manifest, mold and bacteria will grow in abundance. Guess what? Your body is like this refrigerator. You have 70 billion cells every single day that go through an expiration date. Collagen protein, cellular functions, mitochondria, fats that all have an expiration date on them. Autophagy, is the process of getting rid of that junk. Eat thyself. That's how stinking smart your body is. It'll go for the bad stuff first. One of the best ways to activate 
Autophagy is actually through fasting. Some people suggest 16 to 18 hours during a fast, you start to really ramp up this autophagy process, but the longer you could go, 24 hours and even like a block fast, three to five days, you're going to see this autophagy go into max effort, and that could be such a powerful way to get rid of this damaged protein leading to the cellulite, and it could actually really transform your skin health. I have a ton of videos about fasting and autophagy. You could even consider something like a dry fast, which is pretty extreme. I'm gonna put those videos and resources in the notes down below. I'm also going to be including all the studies that I got for this video in the notes description down below in the timestamp, so make sure you go read that and check out the resources. The next item is collagen. Taking high quality collagen could be a great way to get rid of your cellulite. There was a double blind, randomized, placebo controlled study and it showed within six months, improved cellulite and skin appearance when they consumed high quality collagen. What the study showed is that collagen helped to improve skin elasticity, which is gonna help tremendously with cellulite. One thing I want you to consider is that not all collagen protein powders and supplements are created equal. We wanna make sure we're using a collagen protein powder that has been processed the right way, it's been tested for heavy metals, it's been tested for toxins because not all companies do that. So I'm gonna drop in the notes down below my favorite collagen products that I personally use, and if you stay consistent with collagen usage, you'll see a big difference within months. Next on my list is going to be two hormones that we wanna pay attention to, estrogen dominance and adiponectin. Well, let's talk about that. There was a great study that I'll reference down below titled Cellulite, a Cosmetic or Systemic Issue. What the study showed is that individuals who had high amounts of estrogen typically also had high amounts of cellulite. So what we can do to taper down estrogen to make sure it's more optimal, you could take some supplements like broccoli, you could consume broccoli, you could take DIM. These are two items that can help. I also recommend getting rid of alcohol, especially beer and wine, which could be very estrogenic, and make sure you're drinking out of glass bottles and you're staying away from phthalates and other plastic toxins, which could actually increase your estrogen levels. By decreasing your estrogen and getting it more optimal, you're going to notice a better appearance in your cellulite. Not only that, there's another hormone called adiponectin. Adiponectin, think of that hormone as like a Sherpa. It'll tell your body where to store fat. It'll actually signal to your body when it's activated to store that fat in your subcutaneous fat, which is better than your visceral fat, which could lead to cellulite. This study showed impaired secretion of adiponectin may contribute to cellulite. So here are six ways to activate adiponectin, which will not only help with fat burning, but also with your cellulite. Exercise, especially burst training and strength training, that's a good thing to do three to five times per week. Olive oil, wild caught fish, olives, avocados, and berries. Any of these items down there will activate adiponectin and help with fat burning and cellulite. I have one final tip here and then I have some bonus tips for you. Before I get to that, if you're getting any value from this video so far, please hit the thumbs up button on this video. And hey, if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell next to it so you're notified when we go live or release a brand new video. I got good news for my fellow coffee drinkers out there. Some research shows that caffeine from coffee could actually help with cellulite. Check this out. Topical treatment containing 7% caffeine improved cellulite and resulted in reduced cellulite in the thighs and hips. Pretty cool. Another study showed caffeine improved the endothelium dependent microvascular responses in the skin, which improves cellulite. So just another reason to have a delicious cup of coffee, but something to consider is that not all coffee is created equal. Coffee is the number one sprayed crop in the world up there with corn and soy. A lot of the coffee beans out there are toxic, which could actually increase inflammation and make your cellulite worse. So make sure you're getting a clean coffee source. I'll put a link down below for the one I use and a coupon code for them as well. Here's some bonus research for you if you wanna throw this into the mix of your protocol. Some studies suggest cold therapy in the form of cryotherapy could actually help with cellulite and fat loss. I'll drop that study uh, down below. There was also a fascinating study that showed algae, spirulina chlorella, actually benefited not just inflammation, but was also anti-cellulite. 
I personally use Energy Bits. I have a coupon code from them. I'm gonna drop their link down below in the podcast notes. So you have the protocol on how to reduce and get rid of your cellulite. Stick with the plan and watch your body heal and you'll see some really noticeable results in a few days and especially weeks to months. Now, if you have another problem, maybe you lost weight and you have excessive skin after losing that weight, I have a great video on five ways to tighten your skin after weight loss. Stick or tap the screen right there. Watch that video. I'll see you in the next one. And hey, hit the thumbs up button on this video. See you soon.